So I talk a lot to my students about how to use different scales uh, to affect chord changes. But we're just going to start with a simple E blues. If you're sitting there, you know, jamming on the chords, if you got the little rib. That's good for a couple times through. So you're not playing the same thing the next time. Uh, you could do chords. about is using a uh, incorporating your three main scale patterns uh, you have your major scale or a mixolydian scale which I typically like to use has a flatted seventh in it uh, also your major pentatonic minor pentatonic all right then your blues of course what happens is as you're playing through there, if you're soloing, you don't have to hit all the notes in that. You can just take bits and pieces uh, and create like a, a riff over it. So let's say you got your... Actually, I guess the sixth way. Then we have the eight. When you get to the B, you could walk up from the fifth of the B. And then come down. But getting back to the soloing thing, when you're creating a melody with this, you don't have to do a whole lot. I mean, you just... Pentatonic, uh, we use major pentatonic. Sounds more like a hideaway. mixing and matching those scales so that you're not playing them like a scale but you're actually being a little bit more uh, fluid with them. It's a lot more interesting to your melody. Uh... Hang on a note. 
know, so you just be creative. You gotta, you gotta mess around a little bit, and then learn your patterns all up and down the neck, so you can mix and match. You know, the great Roy Buchanan uh, he stole this from, uh, gosh, slide player. Same thing. You're rolling the fifth to the sixth chromatically. So mess around with those scales, get to know them and uh, become intimate with them so that you can really kind of create. Listen to people so you can learn tricks, so, you know, it's things like bends. Um, or, you know, uh, one of the things BB likes to do. Hit a note and fall off of it. Vibrato. and the sevenths of the chord, so if you're playing E, you want to aim for that G sharp, getting to it a half step above or below, and the flat seven leads you right to the third of the A chord, and the flat seven of the A, back to the third of the G, or the E chord, which is now G sharp, and that's only a half step away from the flat seven of the B chord. Listen to people learn some of those licks. Keep it fun and real.